Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here, and in this video, we'll look at how you can deactivate a WordPress plugin if the admin dashboard cannot be logged into. The method outlined in this video is useful if you have installed a WordPress plugin, which you then find has manipulated the WP admin screen, leaving it blank, you've edited some PHP code resulting in an error, or you've installed a WordPress security plugin that has then locked you out of your WordPress website. In this tutorial, We'll look at using the cPanel PHP My Admin tool to disable the problematic plugin or plugins. Disabling the problematic plugin should then allow us to log in via WP Admin as per usual. I'm just in the plugins menu of my admin dashboard to show you that I have a number of plugins currently active. A number of these, all of these plugins, can be easily deleted from this page. Although in this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to deactivate them from PHP My Admin in the circumstances that this page cannot be reached. To deactivate plugins from the PHP My Admin, you'll need to log in to your cPanel account. So I've gone ahead and I've logged into my cPanel account. This is just the home page of the cPanel. And it's here that I'll need to then scroll down and click on the PHP My Admin button. This can be found under databases. So I'll go ahead and I'll click on that button. This takes me straight to my PHP my admin. So it's here that we'll need to locate our WordPress database of the site which we'd like to delete plugins from. So I know the one that I need to delete the plugins from is plug demo underscore WP1. So I'll go ahead and I'll click on that one. And then once I'm on this page, I need to click the SQL menu. By clicking on the SQL menu, it brings me to this page here where I can run a command. I'll run a command now to show me all the active plugins on this site in question. So I'll go ahead and I'll type that. So I've just typed that select star from WP underscore options where option underscore name equals active underscore plugins. Now that I've typed that into the command text box, I can click the go button. Once I've clicked the go button, I'll need to click this edit button here to see all the text of the plugins that are active. So I can see that I've got active six plugins on that site. So the A colon six means active six. So it's between this curly bracket here and this curly bracket here that all of the six plugins are in fact listed. So the command that I ran selected all the entries from the WP options table where the option parameter name is set to active plugins. If I wish to remove all the plugins that are currently active on this site, I'd need to highlight the entire SQL query and cut it. So basically I could just highlight it all like this and click the cut button. I just keep that saved so that I could paste it at a later stage if needed. So now that I've removed all the active plugins, I'll need to hit the go button to implement that change. So the go button just down here, I just click that and that would implement that change and make all six of those active plugins deactive on my site. So if I click that go button, now all of those on my site should be deactivated. So we can go back and we can see if that's actually worked. I'll just need to refresh this page here and I can see that all six have been made inactive. So I then need to go ahead and activate them individually. If one of those active plugins was causing the problem, making it so that you couldn't log in to the WP admin, you should now be able to log in and then you could activate them one by one to see which one was problematic. You can probably see that disabling all the plugins is actually simpler than it may seem, but you can also disable select plugins simply as well. So I've returned to my PHP My Admin um, within cPanel to show you how you can just disable select plugins if you need to. For instance, you might know that it was the recent plugin that you've activated on your site that's causing an issue and you just want to disable that plugin for the time being. So I've just returned back to that page where we click the go button and we disabled all of our plugins. So now I'll just go back and I'll click that edit button again. And I'm going to paste in everything that I cut before, which was all of our six plugins that were active on the site. So I've pasted that back in. If I was to click the go button again, you'd see if we went back to our WP admin dashboard that those six plugins would be active again. 
but I'm gonna show you how we can activate just five of those six plugins. So if I wish to deactivate a single plugin, then I would need to find just the line that represents that plugin being active. We'll then need to change the total number of plugins and ensure the numbering is correct and accounts for the removal of a plugin. This means all the numbers after the entry we deleted will need to be altered so that they are consecutive from zero. So you can see ID number two here is the simple download monitor plugin. So if I wish to remove this, then I would need to edit the following IDs so that they were consecutive from zero. So I've got zero there, I've got number one here, which was the simple download Dropbox add-on, and then in the simple download here is number two. So I can backspace this one out, there we go, but then I would need to go ahead and I'd need to make this ID two, this ID would need to go to three, this ID would need to go to four, and in total, then I would have five plugins. So even though it only has up to ID four, we need to include zero as a number. So if we counted those IDs from zero to four, we've got five plugins in total now. So now that I've got my five plugins in there, clicking the go button will disable that simple download monitor plugin. So I'll click go, and then I'll return to my dashboard where I will refresh and we'll see that five are active and one is inactive. So if this has worked successfully, it should be the simple download monitor that is inactive. So we'll go there and it's true, it is the simple download monitor that is inactive, proving that this cPanel method works 100%. So I've now shown you how you can delete out text to deactivate plugins from your WordPress website from cPanel but you can simply run a command that'll save you a few steps. There is a command that will automatically disable all plugins currently active. This saves about one or two steps for you. So I'll briefly go over that now with you. So I've now returned to PHP my admin. I've gone to the plug demo. So you just need to find your site there. And I've clicked on the SQL menu and it's here that I'm going to paste in a command that when I click go, we'll just deactivate all of the plugins. So there we go, I've put that command in, update wp underscore options set option underscore value equals where option underscore name equals active underscore plugins. So I'll click the go button and we can see that that is now taken effect. And if I went back to my plugins demo, I have refreshed we can see that all six are now inactive. So that brings me to the end of this tutorial on how you can deactivate plugins from cPanel through the PHP My Admin. So this is great if you're having trouble logging in through WP Admin within WordPress. If you do not wish to use PHP My Admin to disable plugins through cPanel, you can in fact use FTP to rename a file name in order to disable plugins temporarily.